Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Good morning, everybody. We're gonna do a quick video here, similar to Alex's videos uh, on his daily watch list, but I just wanna walk you guys through my morning process. Actually, in the morning, live market time, as you can see, it is 10 after eight, my time, which is 20 minutes before the market opens. So we're just gonna run through this real quick here. So if you guys remember the criteria, it's I look for anything gapping up or down 3% or more. And then I want to see volume right now greater than around 300,000 with that gap. So what I do is I sort by volume here. I have a scanner for this and I, and I just have it over here in a little watch list area and it just updates as it goes. I have this custom column here that allows me to see the gap downs, the break evens, the gap ups here um, and then what I do is I'll look over here and I'll see these uh, gap downs so we got uh, Shaq, MYGN, and Uber both of those are all three of those are gapping down so let's run through Shaq here I've already got my levels out currently Shaq is trading uh, it's 69.31. So uh, the high of our range is 70.70, or the previous close at 84, and then the low is 68.35. So we've got a, about a $20 range that we're working with here that we're trying to gauge between. So this is what I start to do. I immediately start, and I go three months, just like I told everybody. Um, I think these lows up here are are just out of question. I don't think that they're going to touch today. If they do, I'm definitely not going to be short. Um, but when I go to a six month, you can see all this consolidation that I've highlighted right here. So these are my levels, this 75.90 to 76.50 level, which see 75.90 has touched a lot in here. And then 76.50 being a whole half dollar being the wick here, 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 here and then the body of this candle and facing that level as well. So I believe those two are key levels. And I'm looking at this for a short. Next two levels down here, you can see the uh, all the consolidation and action that this level has had, the 7330 level. And then same here with 7240, you can see the wick here, the wick come down and test it here, here, body of the candle, body of the candle, body close or open of this day, close of this day. So a uh, less uh, important area or a less uh, reliable area, but still I think 7240 is a good good level to play off of. And then you have 6890 down here. Um, and let's kind of recap what we had here. And I'll show you guys what this looks like. So let's start with Uber. So we're just going to maximize this cell. There you go. So with Uber, we had a line at 2870 and 2859 was also a pivot point. But as you remember, I said Uber was a potential short if it pushed at the open. Since it washed out at the open, I'm not going to go counter trend on Uber and scoop a dip, even though in the end it worked. But um, according to my rules, mostly I would have probably stopped out of this if I would have scooped it for a long because right here, Right here would have hit my line, right? 2870, and then you've got another pivot point right here, 2859, but 2870 touches. So I'm in that trade for one, two, three. Now notice what happens, okay? I've been in the trade for nearly three to four minutes now, depending on when this low hit during this candle, okay? And 
Now, remember my time stop. It's got to work within five minutes. The line has to confirm within five minutes. Initially, it's a dollar stop. It's a dollar range on the starter entry, okay? It dictates whatever you want the size to be, okay? If you want to only lose 25 bucks, go long 25 shares, so on and so forth. Don't scale into the trade. I'm not trying to scale into this. I'm being a sniper. I'm hitting my line. If I have lines that are stacked together, um, it, it generally doesn't work that way for me. I don't scale multiple lines. I will, but I'm, it's rare that I do. Most of the time, I like to see my lines work right out of the gate. And if they don't work, I have my max loss of a dollar a share in place. And I won't keep adding to it. I'm going to let it confirm first and let it work on my starter position. And then I'll start to add and risk high of day and or low of day, depending on the short or the long, so on and so forth. So in this particular case, here's what would have happened. I would have longed right here in this candle. I would have longed here. I would have been in the trade for here. I would have sat through this pullback, okay? Because again, 28.70 down to 28.53.51 is not a dollar, okay? That's only 20 cents. And then look, we pop back. In all honesty and fairness, um... I always like to try to sell into VWAP, so in hindsight, it looks like I could have gotten uh, out, and I may have, but I I don't entirely know because I wasn't in the trade. That's the that's the downfall of hindsight. So let me let me just assume that I probably would not have sold here because I would only be up like fifteen cents, and that's not a lot. I'd probably be hoping for a bigger move like this right here, just knowing me. Um, Probably would have held, and then I'd been in the trade for one, two, three, four, probably nearly five minutes now, and guess what? My stop is going to become here, okay? So my risk now went from a dollar a share down to 18 cents a share. If it breaks that low, I'm out. If it broke that low, I would have stopped out dead bottom. That's just the reality of that trade. That's fine. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.